my name is Doug Stark, and I actually have two companies here in town. One is Comfort Care Homes, where we provide long-term care for people with dementia. And the other one is Comfort Keepers, where we actually provide care in the home uh, or place of uh, residence for people who want to stay at home. Well, in the Comfort Care Homes, uh, what we really offer is a departure from traditional nursing care. Because we operate in single family residential homes, we uh, are an alternative for someone who's dealing with a loved one with dementia to not have to place them in uh, a typical large building. These homes uh, are exactly what they are. Their houses, our residents are able to bring their own furniture. We had a lady move in yesterday and she brought her dog Roxy that I met this morning. And uh, you know, it's just a place for six to eight people to share a house and um, live there like a family. The main niche uh, differentiator is the fact that we don't operate in big, large buildings. Our homes are located, uh, for people who are familiar with Wichita, our homes are within about a one mile radius of Central and Woodlawn, and they're in very upscale neighborhoods. Uh, uh, and again, you could drive up and down the street all day and never pick out one of our houses as being an actual licensed nursing home. Well, actually I came in a little bit after. I'm, I'm a native Wichita. I graduated from Heights. I went to KU and um, I've actually had a, two or three different careers. I was in the wholesale food business for a number of years. Uh, I was the original franchisee for Little Caesars Pizza. I built seven stores in a three year period back in the 80s. And then I joined my parents who had founded uh, Comfort Care Homes some 24 years ago now. So um, basically for the last 20 plus years, I've been in healthcare. Probably the thing that distresses me most is having to see the anguish of our families uh, who are dealing with someone who is now dealing with Alzheimer's or another dementia. You know, many, many times I'm dealing with the 80, six-year-old wife who's having to place her 87-year-old husband. They've been married 60 years and that resident is just fading away and it's um, it's pretty difficult to, to watch. On the other hand, one of the great things about what we do and what makes me um, uh, very proud of what we do is uh, this, this uh, this whole thing comes with a lot of guilt for the family who's faced with having to place their loved one somewhere. And in our case, we actually, I think, are in the guilt relief business. We've given them this beautiful home over on Broadmoor or over on Armour, whereby they can place their loved one and, as I said, bring their pet. And, and uh, uh, the family, uh, we have a lot of family interaction in what we do because it's not like having to go to the nursing home. They're, they come up to our house, they take their loved one out in the backyard, they sit on the deck. I mean, it's just a different, it's a different deal. You know, the Chamber of Commerce to me is the big uh, engine behind prosperity of Wichita. And I, and I really mean that. Um, uh, the nice thing I like about the Chamber is they seem to be all inclusive. Um, you know, as a healthcare provider, we're not maybe and particularly in dementia we're not maybe a mainstream business a retail business uh, but they include us and they uh, they include uh, really all facets of business and the other thing is we've made uh, made a lot of really great uh, business contacts and I don't mean I mean other folks that could help us with our company and how we operate and in some cases we've been able to help others with how they do things, so it's, it's just a great organization. Well, for me, that's simple. I live a life of positive attitude. To me, attitude is everything. It's, it trumps everything. It trumps money, it trumps lifestyle, it trumps uh, your job. It, it, it's just, um, I think people that exude positive energy get back positive energy. And I think those that are just going around feeling like, uh, you know, the, the world owes them something or, uh, you know, life's just not been fair to them, 
uh, I think that that's a self-fulfilling prophecy. I just feel like a positive, I tell people every day, I get asked all the time, how are you doing today? And I say, I'm having the best day of my life. And I mean that because it's life's precious and I'm, uh, I just wish everybody could go around with a positive attitude.